So, just a little short video. I'm trying to get in the habit of making a video every single day to post to my YouTube channel. And I want to be more, have more of a presence online and have more things to share with everybody. Um, one of the things in my life that I'm extremely proud of has been my learning of other cultures, other cultures' spiritualities, and their religious spiritual practices. Um, I by am I by no means am any kind of master or expert in them, but I've always tried to um, learn something about as many cultures as I can. And I think the one I really need to, to read up on more is the Japanese um, Oriental Asian countries and their spiritualities more. Because uh, I know a little bit about Buddhism, but I don't know about like religion religions, because Buddhism is a philosophy. And um, I... That's neither here nor there. Um, I pride myself on being able to know something about a lot of different spiritualities and practices and whatnot because as a medium and as a healer I might anyone could sit across from me for a reading anybody of any you know cultural path any ethnic path I there's no telling who could sit in front of me and across from me um, and so I try to be able to receive messages from their loved ones about anything. And what if the, someone comes on from the other side and they're Hindu? What if somebody comes from the other side and they're Taoist? What if they're um, old Germanic? You know, someone from Germany could still, or Iceland could still practice these old ways as a great grandparent or a grandparent. Um, what if someone's Native American and they practice very Native spiritual practices? I need to understand some symbology, some understanding of like holidays or spiritual practices because what if they mention it? What if, what if a lot of who they are is, is part of that culture that they want to share with their living loved one who is receiving the message? Um, not to say maybe they aren't still practicing that on the other side, but it's a really great validation about where they come from. You know, it's about giving information about who they were when they were alive and telling their story. And in order to do that, there come there has to come a lot of lack of judgment. Like, you know, something may come across, you know, in a different culture that I don't personally, you know, follow, but I have to have respect for it. I have to understand it. I have to be able to take it in and understand it and learn about it and then shelve it for later information and that requires me to face a lot of things that I don't know um, and don't understand and don't um, I'm not gonna say don't believe in because I try to be as open and omni spiritual as I can be um, but it might be something I just don't understand. Like, does not make sense to me? Let me put it that way. So, I found that this has allowed me to be able to connect with so many people and learn and become wiser and, and more educated and more compassionate to different people's ways of life. And it in, by no means has caused separation between me and people it has caused inclusion you know imagine you know you have a an, a unique practice in your family and someone knows about it you know you're going to feel less alone you're going to feel um more related to that's that's really big for a lot of people and so I try to let people, you know, I try to, in, you know, incorporate and learn as much as possible. And it's hard sometimes. It really very much is. Um, because a lot of times it's, it's, 
you know, language barriers and I'm not pronouncing something correctly or I'm not explaining something accurately and I don't want to be offensive, of course, to anybody's practice or belief systems. Um, but it's so rewarding. So sometimes it's really just about stepping outside of your personal self and understanding somebody else. And what that does is it expands your awareness and you become part of the world you're in versus just the world being according to you. You get to experience all the world has to offer. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I implore you to learn something new today. Go and experience and educate yourself uh, on a culture or a belief system or a practice that you are unaware of and watch how your life grows. Have a great day, everyone, in love and light.